Hey, welcome to this Fix It channel, and this is a quick video where we will talk about the failure rates of uh, hard drives. Um, and it's very interesting. Now, we're not talking about solid state drives, we're talking about regular magnetic drives with, you know, an arm that moves around and checks the data on, you know, magnetic surfaces. Um, and they are still the dominant hard drives right now because of the capacity that they give for the price. Now, very interesting stats. First of all, of course, we see here that the best drives are HGST. They typically are a little more expensive than other drives, but they are amazing at 1% failure rate in 2014, 15, and 16. That's pretty good. And, you know, close to uh, pretty much what a lot of industry uh, choose as being okay or acceptable 1% uh, failure rate of, you know, any device. The second drives that are the best are Toshiba. And that's interesting because as a tech guy, I've changed many, many Toshibas. And I had for for a while an impression that maybe Toshibas weren't as good as, I, um, as the other ones. But it also made me wonder if it's not just because Toshiba were uh, more, you know, used more in laptops than other brands, and that's just the reason why I've seen more Toshiba failures. But here, the Toshiba failures in 2014, 4.53%, um, 2015, 4.23%, so 53, 23, and then 3.06% in 2016. And by the way, the numbers at the bottom are the number of drives that were installed and failure rate of these drives that were installed. Then we have Western Digital, which doesn't fare that great at 8.78%, uh, 7.75%, 7 and then 6.55%. And uh, finally, Seagate, horrible, 10%, one drive in 10 was failing in 2014, 2015. And, you know, these were regarded as good hard drives um, in the past. But they did do something because look at the 2016 failure rates, down to 3.4%. I would think that at 1 in 10, they said, whoa, 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 something is wrong. We need to, we really need to fix this. And finally, 3.4%, uh, so they did do a little something. So, uh, interesting stats here. Interesting also to note that year over year, every manufacturer has drives that are better since the failure rates have been going down. So a 2016 drive is better than a 2014 drive for every brand here. Um, the only ones that are really pretty much consistent and you can't really say there's better or not is, you know, the uh, HGSD drive. So if you can get your hands on one of those, they really seem to be the best hard drives right now. Um, as for solid state drives, uh, there's no stats that are done on solid state drives uh, that I've found, but I did find one thing. Uh, it's that they have mentioned that solid state drives in general are much, much more uh, durable. They are better in performance, but they also are much, much lower in their failure rates. So that means that uh, solid state drives are actually overall better than regular hard drives. But it's, it is to be, um, you know, uh, expected because regular hard drives with magnetic, magnetic spinning platters and there's that moving arm all around so it's, it's there's a lot of mechanics in there that's mechanical and of course that tends to break over time an ssd drive is electronic only no moving parts so it would be expected that it lasts much longer uh, than regular hard drives so here you go these are the stats for the hard drive as we end 2016 soon uh, if you have to make a choice of a hard drive now you'll know maybe which one you want to buy if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and hopefully you enjoy your videos, and we'll come back to our channel.